Hey there, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Hope you all are doing very well. So let's check out these cards before we move on, see what they say. You are my destiny and my love for you is without bound. Okay, so this is some pretty positive stuff so far. So let's see what else comes through the tarot and oracle cards. What is your person's overall energy towards you at the time you're finding this video? All right, we have the queen of coins. We have the page of coins. We have, oh, <laughs> king of coins. It's interesting. We have the five of wands. And we have the devil. Okay, there's so much earth energy coming through here. Speaking of that, here's um, Hierophant. So like all the earth signs being represented here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so the first message I was getting with the Queen of Coins coming out is about you, Pile 4, that it really seems like you guys are starting to really come into your own and really know your worth and be very relaxed and happy in who you are. And I want to congratulate you on this. And if you're not here yet, keep working your way towards that. Um, you guys really deserve to feel comfortable and awesome in yourself. And so I feel like this person is recognizing you as this, whether you feel that way or not just yet. Um, and they do feel that maybe they're not quite on your level, the page. Maybe they just want to start things off small uh, before they give you more of what they have to offer as this king of coins. So I feel like there is some conflict here around um, maybe when, maybe when and how they should make more of an offer to you here. Because this is someone who can really see that they want to give their all to you. So they might even feel some love starting to develop here for you with this ace of cups. So the five of wands and the devil, there's something they're still battling with here. This could be having to do with a relationship that they're leaving behind, something in their past. This could be maybe a career situation that's very difficult. Anything that they feel stuck in, um, some kind of unhealthy attachment here. They could also be feeling that there's, I feel like they're trying to avoid, they're trying to keep like their head above water. They're trying to avoid um, things getting like obsessive with you. They might have the, uh, the tendency to really get addicted to their partner or their love interest. And I feel they're trying their hardest to maintain their composure as well. And maybe just connect with you on a very practical level. Be like, look at all this nice stuff we have in common. Like our lives really work together. Um, I just got the message for a few of you. You could have a kid with this person, perhaps. So you could be married with this person. That won't be for all of you, of course. But it's, it's kind of cute. We have like a family here that does not happen very often. The, um, laying out in the cards like that. All right. So I want you. Yeah, this person does seem to be very decided on you. So I, I feel like they're not indecisive here at all. Like they see your value again. Um, <laughs> look at that. Marry me. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, this is um, the king and queen of pentacles are like the married couple of all the kings and queens. And the empress and emperor are as well. Can be. Okay. And then we have I'm listening to my intuition. All right, so this person, yeah, they, they do feel like intuitively, instinctively that you are right for them, that maybe um, they can feel the contrast and the difference here between maybe obsessive, unhealthy connections in their past, and then they feel like a, like it's a breath of fresh air with you. Um, oh, yeah, because they see you as this special star here. They also like that you seem to have a lot of strength and independence and fierceness in you as well. But overall, you um, exude like this this beauty and this really soft energy that they love. Like they can see like the light in your heart. I lie awake thinking about our future. And they are waiting for you. Okay, so a few of you could be watching this as single, and this could be this person getting ready and prepared for you. I meant what I said. So this person might be someone who's very careful with what they say, so they could be struggling over what to say to you because they don't, I feel like they don't want to give you any promises too soon because they don't want to form an unhealthy attachment in that way because they, they have learned that that is how they've had unhealthy attachments form in the past is by um, speaking too soon and rushing into things. And yeah, look at this. This came off the top of the deck. I think we should slow down 
And um, I love is the answer on the bottom of the deck. So they have a better understanding of what real true love is now. Um, now, because they they already went through the devil stuff where they've seen like what attachment is. They thought that was real love, but it wasn't. Like maybe there was some real love mixed in it, but there was so much negative attachment there as well. And they're like, I don't want that anymore. They understand now what free uh, flowing love is, and this is what they want from this this way um, from this point forward. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime and attraction. Wow, you guys are getting lots of good cards here. So if you chose this pile, I feel like this person's definitely into you. If you don't have a person like this, this could be something you're manifesting. And something to set your intentions on if it's sounding good to you. So I do feel like this person really does want like the one in their life. They don't want to be interested in multiple people. They just want their one person, their one queen or their one king that they can appreciate. All right. Um, we have yin yang 22. So yeah, they just want their counterpart. They want their perfect balance. I feel like they've come to a point of completion and balance. They see this in you as well. So a lot of things have been worked out in them. All right, let's get what are their overall thoughts about you, pile four. We have the eight of pentacles, so they might see you as a really hard worker or someone very, very talented. They love this about you. Um, the three of cups. So they feel like you guys also have a lot of like shared interests and they feel like that is the foundation of a wonderful relationship. So they feel like this has really great lifelong potential because you guys can have a lot of fun together with your shared interests. And here's the chariot. So this person is really has their focus on moving things forward. I feel like they don't want to drop the ball with you at all. They don't want to give someone else the chance to come in and sweep you off your feet. That could be what this five of wands is here about as well. They're willing to go up against the competition. That could be that devil coming through here as well. Like this devilish side of like, kind of like no pile four is mine you know and i'm going to fight for pile four um here's journey number two another two okay i like to mention the band journey <laughs> when this card comes through so that some of their songs might be important to you guys like don't stop believing separate ways okay so anything else about this long distance comes through here with the chariot and journey here you guys might be doing some traveling together or it's just like you guys are um this is a very broad and expansive connection. You really help broaden each other's worlds. So they're willing to go the distance with you and really take time getting to know you. They're like, I just want to enjoy the ride. We don't need to rush anything. I feel like they're pretty decided on you. Okay, so their overall feelings about you, pile four. We have the king of swords. And here's the star. I feel like this is someone who's still recovering from heartbreak from these um, difficult, um, obsessive, um, unhealthy attachment relationships, but they do feel very much that they can go beyond that with you. And here's the Page of Cups. So you're starting to bring them back to life again. You're starting to bring their heart back to life. Yeah, look at this, the Six of Cups. So they are trying to keep their heart guarded still and not totally give in to a love just yet like fully but um it's like their heart is melting for sure the ice around their heart and this is someone who wouldn't be able to stay mad at you um here's the temple path number 12 this is a beautiful card so they do feel like they're being led into something very beautiful with you they they can't resist the call of this here's the angel of love number 49 so i do feel like they're seeing you with the star here as well they're seeing you in a completely positive light they haven't seen anything bad about you yet. So they they feel like you don't even, um, they can't imagine what your bad side is like. Of course, no one's perfect, but um, they really feel like you guys are you know close to perfect. They're like whatever the weaknesses are, I'm I'm not too concerned that it'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so their intentions towards you, we have the Knight of Cups. Wow, so we have all this earth, and then we have all this water, and to me those are two of the nicest. Um, elements that come through um, for a relationship. 
because it's like a staying power like hey I want to be there for you I want to like really materially show up for you and take care of you and then the feelings are there the love is there as well um, here's the five of wands so yeah I do feel like maybe they they see that you're someone who could get a lot of attention and they really do want to give you like the best offer like love offer here's the seven of wands I really feel like this person will will defend you will defend the connection between you two um, you know, especially if there's anything with families that are interfering, they're like, no, back off. You know, this is my life. I want to live my life. I want to pursue who I want to pursue. Um, page of Pentacles. So, uh, there, there still is conflict around like what to offer you and when to, but they do have the intentions of eventually coming forward and, um, professing more of their feelings maybe. But they just like what you guys have right now, and they're like, we don't need to rush this. Let's just keep getting to know one another. And victory, number 28. So that makes sense that they do want all of this to work out. They are willing to go through the, the difficult stuff, and they feel like you guys are going to have this beautiful reward together of being together. It's going to feel really good. And here's patience as well. So they're willing to give this time and space to develop. Let's see this card. Two cards. All right, hostilities number 26, and community, number seven. So it does feel like there's so many people around this connection or they are involved with a lot of people around them. You know, if there's some kind of like, um, you know, teacher, professor, or they just like, have a career with just a lot of people, um, lots of friends. So I feel like a lot of people are like demanding their attention every day, but I just feel like you're this bright spot that stands out to them. Like they really will put time for you on their calendar and when someone is that busy and that in demand and then they do that, you know, you really know that you mean something to them. Okay, so yeah, it's important when someone makes time for you. It's important that they do that for you. Okay, so, so they might not be ready to just give you everything, but they are going to give you what they can whenever they can to show you that, hey, I'm serious and let's just keep progressing this. All right, any blocks and fears with you? Pile four. Here's the three of swords. They are afraid of getting their heart broken, possibly, especially if they still are recovering from something from their past with the king of swords and the devil. So they are being careful with their heart. They want to be careful with your heart as well. All right. What do they most want you to know? Pile four. We have the king of cups. So they're saying like, even if they have had difficulties, in their past with love, you know, they're still more than capable of loving. They still want to have a very deep and loving relationship in their life. You know, they have a lot of love to give. And then here's the nine of swords. It still is pretty scary for them, but they don't want to give up on this, but they need to ha take their time to make sure that they can trust you and just be sure that you want this as well to be sure things can work out between you two. And here's the five of wands showing up for the third time. So this person, I feel like they're also maybe saying they have a lot of fighting spirit in them more than the average person. So they just have a lot of energy in general. They're willing to make big changes in their life. They're not going to stay stuck anywhere that isn't serving them. So I just feel like they really want to fight for you and win you over a page of cups. You know, like I'm just feeling like stuff from like, um, you know, medieval uh, stories and stuff where, you know, they're winning the trying to win a lady over you know you have like a lot of competitors or something that's that's what they're seeing is they're like I'm going to be the one to fight for your attention and I'm going to be the one to deserve your attention so they do know they do understand that they need to do something to deserve your time and, and attention and your love so that that's good that there seems to be something equal and balanced here where they don't just expect your attention they want to win it they want to do something or give you something to be worthy of you because they do see your worth. All right, so their love note for you, pile four. You show me my myself without my shell. Wow, so this is interesting. Um, this could mean that uh, they, for the first time in a long time, they're considering opening their heart again. They're getting more in touch with their vulnerable side um, yeah, you, you are really taking them into deeper dimensions than they've let themselves access in a while. They're remembering more of who they are, what they like in life. And here's words fail me. 
Interesting. Okay. So this could be they, they just are impressed with you. They think you're beautiful and amazing and like they just don't even know how to put it into words. Okay, advice for you, pile four. Here's power. All right, so it feels like maybe you have some of the power in this uh, situation here, pile four. So definitely stay in your power, stand in your power, know your worth. Um, don't let your power get knocked down at all. I don't mean like lording over anyone. I just mean you make sure you're feeling powerful day to day, getting your power from source and keep following your path. This is what attracted this person to you. So don't let this person get you off your path at all. Like, you know, the, um, the distraction of like what you guys could have together, just stay on your path. And, um, if this person is going to be a really true and good partner for you, they will join you on your path. They will support you on your path. And we have death here for number 46. So you guys might still be um, needing to close up some stuff from the path going past, going through some really um, deep and intense things. But I like that we have power here. So whatever this these deep, dark things or endings you've been through recently, you guys are coming out more and more powerful. It's really added to your power. So you're shining more brightly than ever because of this. Oh, you got two more cards here. And here's love, number 45. And the frog, number 14. Cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. So maybe some of you still have um, a relationship that you're moving on from um, and you need to release the baggage from it so that way you guys can step into a new connection for you. Um, maybe it's time to like literally clean up your house, get rid of some old things, especially if they were old things from an old relationship because I just feel like you guys maybe need some fresher energy to come in and clean things up here. Um, whatever you, Whatever's going on, I just feel like you guys need like a fresh start. Um, you just need to get rid of some stagnant energy in your life, whatever that has to do with. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised just how much you're going to love your life after you do that. So there is love after death. Like maybe you guys have been through some actual deaths. Um, but it's like there still is something beautiful in the cards for you here. All right. So let's see. What do they want to say to you? I wish I could share my good news with you. So maybe you're like the person they want to go to every time something good happens with them. They want you to be proud of them. And sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. And I want to tell you how I feel, but I can't. So they do feel like maybe the timing is not right for this, especially if this is a pretty new connection for some of you. So their intuition is telling them, oh my gosh, I think this is my person. So even if this is somewhat of a logical person, I feel like they, they do um, believe in the intuitive mind. Um, you know, they be believe in fe like having feelings about things. Okay, you are so attractive. You are so interesting. And I miss seeing you around. They always want more of you. And I will find my way back to you. All right. I know that we are still connected because I feel it when you are sad, in pain, or angry with me. Please make sure you stay positive so I can be optimistic about our future. And even if you guys have had nothing negative between you two just yet, this could mean, um, you know, just the second message for you. Stay, stay positive so you guys can have an awesome future together. All right, I know that you miss me and you want to talk to me, but I just can't seem to find the right words to say to you right now. I'm sorry. This is interesting since we also had like words fail me coming up. So yeah, this person, they are having a hard time communicating to you anything about their feelings. I feel most of you are in communication with this person, like um, something nice in development here, but they just haven't brought up like feelings or romantic relationships for a lot of you. We will find each other again. I will always find you. And my life may seem like I got it all figured out, but the truth is that it's one big mess. I feel so lost and I just don't know what to do. So they could still be like, hey, I'm a work in progress right now. This five of wands, the devil, they're like, I do have a lot I'm struggling with. I'm not 100% put together just yet. I'm getting there. That's what my intentions are. But there is some stuff behind the scenes that I'm struggling with. Okay, um, let's see. One more coming off the deck. I pushed you away because I was confused about how I was feeling. 
So that could just be like, hey, I'm not quite ready to talk about how I feel just yet. Or let's get a couple shadow messages, a couple light messages. We have, um, I don't have the time or energy for anyone else but myself right now. So yeah, this person could be like, whoa, I see something so special between us, but I don't think I'm, I'd am i be ready to just fully jump into something just yet. Doesn't mean that it won't happen, but I see the awesome potential for us. And I am racked with guilt. So maybe they're still trying to release something from their past or they just feel guilty like they can't be more for you right now. They might be afraid they're going to miss out if they don't step up faster. Okay, so light messages for you, pile four. We have, I'm undergoing an inner transformation. Please be patient with me. They really beat themselves up a lot with this five of wands coming through several times. Um, I feel secure that not everything is about me or a reflection of who I am. So I do feel like this person is in a relatively mature and comfortable place about themselves. I do feel like they're a match for you in that way because I feel that's how you have become. Pile four, you've really worked on yourself and your energy and you have attracted in a match like that. So of course, they still have a little bit of stuff, but you still have a little bit of stuff as well. So it's okay. I feel like you guys are um, going to give each other the time and space to kind of work through these things. All right, let's see. What else might they say to you? You're the only person in the world who really scares me. Because, yeah, I was feeling like maybe this person, they have a, a lot of people around them. They're used to dealing with a lot of people. I feel like they can they can handle the heat. and um, But you're, like, extra special to this person. Um, you make them feel a little bit shy. And I want to dance across eternity with you. All right, don't think I don't care about you because I really do. Yeah, it does seem like this person really does. And you are my muse. Okay, that's beautiful. So you're very inspirational to this person. That makes sense with the star, the starfish and the star coming up. And you are the answer to my whole life. So maybe they feel like you are the person that they've been looking for, for all this time. And yeah, all this time, give me more time. I'm not good enough for you yet, but I am a work in progress. Um, this person is going places. I do feel they are sincerely working hard in their life. 